Hello and greetings, all of my brothers and sisters in Christ. And what a lovely day it was in our beautiful Holy Savior. For every day is good whenever you walk with King Yeshua. No matter how dark the path is that you might be in right now, know that King Yeshua is there with you. Praise Him through your valleys. Praise Him through your storms. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. And I don't just say that lightly because I've never experienced any of that before. I praised Him throughout all of my Mm. I guess you could just say tests and trials in my deepest darkest points I just reach out to him and he's there when you praise him he inhabits your praises when you praise him straight from your heart when you pour out your soul to him God loves to hear his children praise him. Amen. All right, I'm going to give you Romans chapters 10, verses 9 and 10. If you do not know our lovely, precious, wonderful, and conquering Savior, King Yeshua HaMashiach, he's telling you how to be saved in his very word, in his inerrant word. For his word is flawless. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Come to him with a complete repentant heart, a sorry heart, a heavy heart. Cleanse your hands. Purify your hearts. Let your joy turn into heaviness. Bow down before our mighty King and give Him your all. Give Him your all. Surrender your whole life to Him. And after you invite Him in your heart, after you ask Him for complete forgiveness, for he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Stay in a completely repentant heart. Psalm 51, not sure of the verse. As a sacrifice to you, O oh God. And I'm going to paraphrase this. Please keep me broken in spirit and broken and contrite in heart. O oh God, thou wilt not despise. Amen. Hallelujah to the mighty Lamb of God who will get us through any situation that we're in. He will always make a way. In this word, this, in this vision that he's given, he's saying that, and he's proving that, and he says it in his word, and his word is truth. So let us praise our wonderful and mighty and glorious God Almighty, our holy God, Yahweh Elohim your precious Holy Spirit, our spirit of truth that leads us to your truth and shows us your ways, your mighty and true ways, and your beautiful Holy Son, your only begotten Son, 
that you sent down to this earth and he suffered and he died for our sins for the world's sins he who was sinless took upon our sins and he shed his most beautiful blood for all of us to turn your wrath, Father, away from us. For if we dwell with your perfect Son, he covers us in his precious blood. And it turns your wrath away from us. Thank you for your precious Son, your gift to the whole world, for we are saved. For by grace are we saved by faith. A gift from God. Thank you for your precious gift. Your precious son. I love you so much. I love you forever, Father. I bow down to you and I worship you with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. And I give reverence to you and I fear you, Father. I love you so much. And thank you for enlarging my steps so I do not slip. Thank you for not letting me slip. I do not want to slip away from you ever. And thank you for telling us that you'll be with us in trouble and that you will deliver us and honor us. Thank you, Father, for all of your love, for loving us before the foundations of the world. I love you so much. Thank you for this vision that you have given me and your children. Thank you for all the, the words and the messages that you have given me and your children, not just through this servant, but through all of your servants for you have been warning and warning and warning and warning sounding the alarm everywhere through many 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 people and I know that day comes and no one knows when but you father and I pray for your mercy upon this whole land Your mercy endureth forever, and you give mercy to whom you choose to give mercy to. Please have mercy upon me, upon your faithful, upon your first covenant people, your Israelites, upon your Gentiles. I love you, Father. In King Yeshua's holy and precious name, amen and amen. Okay, in the vision, I received it late last night. Just as I had almost fallen asleep, I began to see this fireball being mobbed into a town. I do not know the source of the fireball at this point. Then I see this helicopter hovering over the town and I see many soldiers climbing down to the ground from the helicopter. I hear Russian and see that there are also Chinese soldiers together with them. I then see them all at once turn towards the houses 
they were in the road, right in front of the houses. They all began to shoot their guns at all of the houses at the same time. Then I see God's mighty angels come out, and it looked like they came out from the houses, and were right in front of the soldiers, and from what the Holy Spirit gave me revelation, they were all blinded. They began to roll around on the ground, confused and dazed. I am then taken inside one of the houses, and I see people kneeling down to our mighty Jehovah God, saying with great praise, Thank you, our Heavenly Father, and we praise you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. And they said this many, many times in the vision. Word from Father God, Yahweh. Just as my holy angels smote the Sodomites, so shall God Almighty smite some of the devil's soldiers. I have complete control of Satan and his demonic plans. Always pray, my beautiful children, where there seems not to be a way, God will always make a way. Genesis 19:11, And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. 2 Kings 6:18, As the enemy came down toward him, Elisha prayed to the Lord, Strike this army with blindness. So he struck them with blindness, as Elisha had asked. 1 Corinthians 10.13 There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Please take this word into prayer. Psalm 36, 7. How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God! Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 5.44 p.m. on 24 January 2016. My holy and pure daughter of mine own heart, write my fantastic and wonderful words for my children to hear and obey. Children, are you ready to be a witness to the miraculous? Are you ready to see your mighty and true God, Jehovah, in action? Are you ready to see me confound the wise and foolish in heart? Are you ready to see a revival in this earth like you have never seen before? <coughs> Excuse me. Open your spiritual eyes and ears, my children, for this is coming your way. Do not be asleep when this comes. You must be awake and vigilant to receive my blessings. Many of you are blessed and have been blessed, but you have used the blessings that I have given you to go a-whoring after other gods and lusts of this world, material items that mean nothing to Jehovah God, things that give pleasure to the flesh, but the flesh is filthy rags to me. I am after your heart. You can see from this vision that I have given Wendy, my dear servant, that war comes very soon to your land. How I protect my faithful children in so many ways that would astound you. Your heartfelt prayers through my son go a long way with your Abba Father. I bend my ear low to you, my holy and faithful children. I will hear your petitions. I am not a God that ignores his children. You don't see me. No man has ever seen God the Holy and Righteous Father, for you should truly die if you did. But my children who are with me, they see me every day face to face. They come into my holy presence with such great reverence for me. Father God wants you all to be in my holy presence, and it won't be much longer at all. <clears throat> I long to see my creation, my flock, bowing down to me directly in my throne room. Father God Yahweh, everlasting God Almighty, has spoken. Let me leave you <coughs> with Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 to 27. And this is God's blessing to all his children. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, 
On this wise you shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. In the holy, mighty, precious, and wonderful name of our happy and joyous King, Baruch Hashem Adonai. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and Shalom.